Okay. Down, 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 down. Huzzah! <laughs> and just like that, people would probably call me a hacker. But I'm not hacking. Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. This is Krebsy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking out the T3457 Mod 1943, or also better known as a mouthful of words. <laughs> this vehicle was requested by one of you guys in yesterday's video on, when I was doing the T44 with the 122mm cannon. And you're asking, is this vehicle good and is it worth buying with Golden Eagles? So, uh, the simple answer is it's okay. Uh, I wouldn't look down on you if you bought it, but there are some things to consider. Firstly, it is over tiered. Uh, it comes out a battery of 5.0 as opposed to the 4.7 on the normal T3457, but there are some differences. Firstly, it has a better turret with uh, extra armor, a little bit more armor, not like a huge amount, just a little bit more armor. Uh, better turret traverse speed, and yeah, that's pretty much about it, and a different shape on the turret. So. That's the main differences. So it comes out about rating 5.0 as opposed to 4.7. And that 3.3 difference makes a huge whopping difference. Like, I can't stress it enough. It makes a huge difference, guys. Uh, it is the difference between seeing uh, just normal v enemies around your battle rating and then seeing stuff like IS-2s, Tiger E's, Black Princes, you know, stuff like that. That is the difference between the two. So you just gotta be wary of that. I'm just gonna park myself here for a few seconds, just, just wait to see if any enemies appear. Thanks, obstacles! You just have to collapse on top of me. And I'm gonna wait for my teammates to catch up as well. Cause this... Oh yeah, he took a lot of damage. There's always somebody. Can we stop here? Oh my gosh, that was so close. Let's see if we can go through the building. Hmm, close but no cigar. Yeah. Oh fuck. That's a bunch of his stuff out. I think we should be able to finish him off. Yep, yeah, indeed. Oh, you bastard! Guys, go away! You're, I'm not giving... I'm not tanking these shells for nothing. Man. I get a little bit pissy because, because the difference between... The difference between a kill assist and an actual kill is massive. Oh my god. There's nobody here. Alright, we need to try to get on the side. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I killed him. That's amazing. And that's why I carry APCR rounds. For instances like that. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was funny. Very, very funny. That guy's taking a lot of damage. And I am taking some damage as well. Okay, let's get repaired. Gotta be very careful, though. Because that vehicle can reverse and go forwards very fast. Oh my god, so much destruction! So much destruction. Anybody home? Okay, this is the plan. I'm gonna shoot through the building. Indeed, it worked. Okay. Down, 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 down. Huzzah! <laughs> and just like that, people would probably call me a hacker. But I'm not hacking. I swear. Loader. Come on, turn to the side a bit more. Nice. More stuff dead. Nothing dead. Maybe a bit more down. Commander, 
He's gonna get a new gunner soon. Ah, oh, damn it. It's not doing what I needed to do. His horizontal's a little bit damaged, but it's not a lot. He could finish me in one shot. Horizontal's down. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is this is really tense for me. Okay, four more. Come on! He's getting injured. Oh my god! Come please! <laughs> this is stupid, man! Oh, how much- how many shells can you land in- into somebody before they just die? I used like all of my APCR rounds there and that bomb- That bomb was pretty stupid. It went below the ground. And then still managed to kill me. It was like, uh, I don't know, King John Il's nuclear bomb exploding beneath the ground and the vibrations making their way above ground to kill me. This kind of sucks. We don't really have much in terms of cap points. Man, God, for God's sake, that took so long to kill that freaking Churchill. That was insane. I didn't even finish him off. But that's why I carry APCR rounds in situations like that, specifically. Do we have somebody that's hiding here on the coast or something? It's because of enemies like that and the battle rating, the matchmaking that you can come up in. You sometimes need that APCR to take on your opponents. And hence why I bring it out. So this vehicle is really not about direct confrontations. It's more so about trying to get the jump on the enemies like I was there. Going on the extreme flanks of maps. Uh, just never go directly to the middle of a battlefield. Try to go on an extreme flank. That's that's That should be your aim, if anything. So we captured A, but we don't have B, unfortunately. Alright, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to have to make a push for B. How are we going to do it, is the question. Well, we're going to make our le make our way to the left over here. I survived a lot longer than I should have there. That was insane. Alright, we're going to make a left. Okay, guys. It's pretty intense. Pretty intense. I can't even remember where I left off of speaking about this vehicle. I should mention that it has a reload speed of 5 seconds when fully upgraded, that's really nice. So if you have to jump on an enemy, you can lay damage in them like non-stop and that's amazing. Unless you get a Churchill which can tank like all of your shots, then that kind of sucks. But, you know guys, that's life. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get, unless that box of chocolates just only has one type of chocolate. Then you always know what you're gonna get. Alright, anyway, I think we've... Yeah, we've probably pushed him out of the city. We're making an offensive on him. Around here somewhere. Okay. I'm just looking for enemies to kill and I spotted one. That did absolutely nothing. I did absolutely nothing. Gunner and loader, very good. And I also damage his horizontal as well. So what I should do is definitely push up on him and give give chase. That's the idea. There we go, we finished him off. Some people might be kind of afraid to chase down targets like that. But always when you've disabled like a component like their horizontal traverse, chase him. Chase him, guys. Chase him. That's what you gotta do. Okay, so we got a guy that's literally in their spawn, so that gives me a little bit of confidence that I can maybe make something happen here. But what I'm gonna do first is just quickly take a look at my binoculars. Just have a look around. A look-see. Where are we on the leaderboard? Okay, we're good. Alright, let's move. Let's move. I think we should be good to go. Can't see anything moving around. What are you, enemies? Where are you? If I wasn't such a pansy, I could have probably gotten onto B as well. And then gotten some points for the cat. That would have been very good. But unfortunately, I'm a pansy. And I care about my life. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. T3485 D5T up in first place, no surprise. 
has a much bigger punch than I do. And a much greater penetration. Oh, for God's sake, please. I was away to say. You bastard, come back here! Fight like a man. <laughs> Alright, now what we're gonna do is make a dash around the place. We still got allies who are pushed up, like, in their spawn. A little bit farther around the place, the area. So hopefully they should be protecting anyone who's coming this way. And actually, I've seen an enemy just around there. So we're gonna reverse around. I'm gonna try to engage. Ow! Somebody spotted me. Somebody indeedly spotted me. But what does not give me confidence is from where did he spot me? Where was it? Damn, dude, I hate these situations! I hate this, dude! I hate these situations when you get in these positions where it's like, where did I get shot? Because it literally could have been anywhere. It could have been literally anywhere. Like, right now, I'm in such an awkward place. I'm, like, behind enemy lines. Okie dokie. Right. Let's pretend... Like I didn't get shot. Yeah, nothing exists. Aha! Uh -huh. Here. That's a bunch of stuff dead in this turret. I'm not sure if I actually damaged anything absolutely critical though. Ah! Somebody else got the kill. But on the bright side, at least I can go for the cap. So what I always want to try to at least do is take out like a horizontal traverse. Or a cannon breach. Because that takes a number of seconds to actually repair. And then that gives me the ability to make a dash into the zone. Without really a fear of retaliation. Because if I kill a gunner or anything like that. Oh my god. No bombs please. Oh, thank god, that was elsewhere. Now, somebody shot me. Oh, I see him. Ah, oh, he freaking screwed me over. Horizontal! Nice. It's not doing so much damage to me now. Can you repair it? Gunner? Nice. Okay. And somebody else got the kill. Woo! Survived the shell from him. That's insane. Move, move, move! Oh, he's so dead. That sucks. Goodbye. <laughs> Au revoir. Oh, man. These enemy planes are being an absolute nuisance. How are they getting so many bombs? It's like they're almost bombing non-stop. We need our own fighters in the sky. We've got a Yak-9. Hey, check it out. I've got another T-34-57 who's around my range in the leaderboard. Well, that guy at, at first place, man. 12 kills? How is that even possible? Zero deaths as well. Like, how? How? <laughs> He's having the game of his life, I presume. Why don't you guys pick on the guy who's in first place? Damn it. Why do you go for some, uh... Easy kills like the tiger. Anyway. Well, it looks like there's just a few more of them alive. And I have no idea where they are. So, I will cut over to when something actually happens. Uh, you know what, guys? I figured out how he did it. He spawn killed. He literally spawn camped. I thought there was he was doing something special, but that's the guy over there. He pushed up all the way into their spawn, and that's how he got 13 kills. Uh, now that's gonna spark a whole debate about spawn campers, isn't it? Now you thought I was do I was bad yesterday. No, this is a whole different this is a whole different story. This guy literally just got all of his kills from spawn killing. That is irritating. That is frustrating. Because I've been on the receiving end of spawn killers before. And like 
Maybe he's kind of out in the open, you know, but I've had like really stupid instances on on that, you know, that castle map where they're actually like up on the hills above me kind of thing and that was really stupid. So yeah, spawn killing is a thing and I don't think it should really be allowed, to be honest. It's kind of stupid. It is kind of stupid. That's for sure. But there's only one guy left, and I think he's in a plane. So there we go, guys. That is the end of the round. That spawn killer got uh, another kill by killing people in the spawn. Um, there you go, guys. So I'm going to consider myself first place that round, because he doesn't count. He's a bad person. <laughs> so uh, there you go. T34, 57 mod, 1943. I kind of, I don't know. It's an okay vehicle. But it definitely has its limitations, and I think mostly to do with its, a, its battle rating and its matchmaking. I definitely think it needs to be um, buffed, as in it needs to go down in battle rating, at least 0.3, down to 4.7. And then it would see probably better targets to come up against and make more sense. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you all have a great Friday and a great weekend. Until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later. Was local for show that we gave it the rope that's opposing the dodo Mr. Captain